Hey everyone, John Mark Comer with Practicing the Way in Portland, Oregon. The verse for the day is Psalm 95, verse 6. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. I grew up in a church tradition where it was normal to kneel before God in prayer, but in the ancient Near East, it was not normal. In fact, the common practice for prayer was to stand, not kneel, and to lift up your hands to God, not bow your head. To kneel was a special and unique posture in prayer. It was a way of saying with your body, God, I surrender to you. You are God and not me. Hence the next line, for he is our God and we are the people of his pasture, the flock under his care, meaning he is the pastor or the shepherd we are the sheep or the flock. Somebody else is in charge of our life and watching over our soul. To kneel is not an activity, it's an inactivity. It's less something you do and more something you don't do. It's a way of praying with your body. And posture and prayer matters because we live in embodied faith with a wandering mind. So it's not just what we pray to God that matters, but how we pray to God matters too. Not because God hears us more when we're on our knees, but we have a much easier time praying to God and giving the deepest part of our being to him if we are on our knees. So today, as you imagine how to put this verse into practice in your own life, it's very easy. Do exactly what it says. Set aside a minute or two or five and literally get down on your knees if you are physically able and offer your body, as Paul writes later, as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Whatever your anxieties are, whatever mountains or obstacles stand in your way, just offer them to God in prayer.